So I guess we could kind of like start where we left off a bit with the full episode. I think we left on that second Paddington's album. And obviously you guys carried on for a bit and released an EP and stuff. Can you just tell us a bit like about that and then how eventually you decided to move on type of thing? Yeah, like I was going to say, it didn't ever really come to an end. But it was it was kind of weird how, how, we, um, how we all... It wasn't weird, but you know, we didn't officially like break up or anything like like that. We didn't we didn't split up. It was just um we kind of went our separate ways and Josh went and did skaters and I moved to London and like, you know, I I didn't I didn't ever really want to call it a day either, you know, like officially. I think like even now like I'd like to think that we'd make music together in the future maybe and like or even play to play some shows together, play the hits. <laughs> um, but like, like most bands around that era, it was like a bit of a roller coaster. Like, um, you know, we had we had like plenty of ups and some downs, and it was kind of like it, it. It came to an end, I guess, but not officially. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember talking to Josh about the about the Ladyboy EP, and he kind of said yeah. uh, he describes it as like a last throw of the dice type thing. He, I think he was like, if we don't get back on our label after this, we're gonna have to move on. Is that something you all felt? I think so. Yeah, like it. It was just a bit of a kick in the teeth, like getting getting dropped. I guess like like it would be for anyone, but. I'm not sure it was like the best idea what we did. It's hard to say in it because like doing everything on our own, like with with the with like releasing it ourselves, like without the team behind us that we had, like from the start and at our peak, if you like, you know, it was always going to be a lot different and a lot more difficult to like just control and like. I don't know. It's kind of it's just I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just, I can't like part of me. I can't even really remember what was going on because I'd kind of in a in a in a shit in like a sad word kind of lost interest a bit. And I think I think a lot. I think we knew we kind of knew it was like we knew what was happening and like we were, we were like not really as motivated anymore and just trying to do everything on our own just became a, a little bit too much hard work like it, it took all the fun out of it do you know what I mean um yeah because like we just used to want to be able to concentrate on writing the songs and like touring and doing the fun part rather than setting up a label and then having to work for ourselves <laughs> That was like that one. That one part of the dream when when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the admin part of it. Yeah. It was like yeah. It was like I want to be able to like do what I want. Just write the songs. Just go in the studio. Just like you know, not have to answer to emails and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess it kind of just it took the fun out of it, and then eventually we just it it drifted a little bit and everybody started doing different things and then like not after not long after like we'd gone we'd gone our separate ways i pretty soon after I had a kid as well and that obviously started changing things like in my life massively i didn't try to let it change things too much but obviously like naturally it does change things and like you have to sacrifice things and like obviously lux was my priority I turned into like a stay-at-home dad for a couple of years. Yeah, <laughs> and, that, and 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 it kind of it was it was it was kind of shit for me in a way because um, you know I I lost touch with music a bit and I lost like confidence in that and like it, it, I didn't mean to do it. It just kind of it kind of happened and like 
at the time felt like the right choice because like me and Lux's mum like working together like it just felt like the right thing to do for me to take a bit of a step back but uh, I kind of took too long doing it and that's why like I guess maybe it's got something to do with what's going on in the world right now and I've just kind of need to need to not really give a shit about things as much not not give a shit about things but um you know like I've, i i need to not have the fear of like doing things myself now and um having having the fear about being criticized and stuff it's like life's too short especially with like how weird the world is right now i need to like put need to put music out there again and and like do what i love doing rather than trying like 101 things to, to uh, try and make me happy, which basically what I'm saying is like, I've realised that definitely I need to be making music because it's like probably the only thing that I like doing, like, create, like creative-wise. I, I like taking pictures and stuff like that as well, but, you know, that's not, it's not my profession, I guess. Yeah. Do you think that has been something that's held you back because I know you've like written songs over the years is that something that's held you back worrying about that reaction like yeah uh, definitely has like and I, I don't think I've admitted it ever until recently and it's been like I just need to kind of get I just kind of need to get over it and recently I just thought fuck it do you know what I mean like uh, some people are gonna, some people are going to like it and some people are not and that's just the way that everything is in the world and you need to you need to get over that a little bit but i think it's good like like you say about trying different stuff like i think you need to do that and uh even if you end up back at square one with writing music at least you know that's your main thing yeah and it, it's made me appreciate it a lot more i think like it's kind of made me realize like fucking you know, I, sh- I should have probably not i shouldn't have stopped doing it not that not that i even stopped uh, making music anyway I've always I've always written like I'll, I'll always write and I always have done uh, even if it's for something that like I'm not sharing with anyone like I've always done it and I've always, always recorded with like friends and other people and then with this like specific bunch of songs that I'm going to put out like I just felt a real like working with Lewis who Lewis Felber who's um, Help me produce it, and he's he's the producer on this EP. Um, yeah, it just felt really different uh, for once, like because I was so used to writing with like the Paddingtons, and they were my mates from growing up, kind of thing. Like, and you know, I was so comfortable with writing with them, but I've always found it quite difficult to get comfortable with writing with somebody else. And I think with Lewis, like it just felt felt really good like for the first time in years as well it was just like I actually felt like I was really happy with what was going on and like our you know we had similar like direction and I guess with like new inspirations as well like as I've as I've got older obviously that's changed a little bit as well like my music taste is it's still I'm still obsessed with like the bands that I was obsessive with as, uh, as a kid, but I've also like my, you know, I'm more open-minded with music, I think a little bit now as well, like um, with like inspirations and what I listen to and stuff. Because I think as a kid, I was like, um, I was very like stuck on like certain bands. Like I'd get really obsessed with just listening to one band at one time, like Oasis and the Stone Roses when I was um, like, 14, 15, 16 or whatever. It was like, I used to just think everybody else was shit because I was so obsessed with them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Not shit, but um, yeah. And, and nowadays, like, I think I listen to a, like a lot more different music. Like even like my guilty pleasures nowadays is like, I listen to probably more pop music than anything else. Or like at the minute, like stuff like Post Malone and like, I've got like a, a weird obsession with personal art at the minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I don't know. Working with Lewis was just, 
just felt yeah it felt like it was really cool for the first time in in a long time since we did that EP I guess yeah and I remember when we had we talked to you know Pat Walden from Baby Shambles yeah and he was kind of saying sometimes you need someone with you to kind of say oh yeah that bit's good kind of thing yeah. when usually you might just dismiss it is that kind of the relationship you had with Lewis yeah exa- that's exactly it I think uh, and obviously like I had that with like working with the pads that's we always had each other's backs and we always you know we, we could we could always tell each other where we're going wrong and like we could be honest with each other and like yeah Lewis it yeah, it's, it was definitely like that with Lewis, and uh, he and he, he's such a great, he's such a good guitarist as well, which which is something I'm not like like writing wise. Like it's always good to have someone who's like sick at their job. Do you know what I mean? Not that the Paddingtons weren't, and like we did because we worked really well together. But like having somebody new, yeah, was it was definitely like it felt. Um, it felt good to like have someone to bounce off, yeah, and like answer answer the questions that I had in my head, or you know. And you mentioned like the instruments and stuff, like yeah, guitar and piano. Yeah, he, he pretty much played it. Played um, like we wrote it together. Like, the, like how I usually write is like I'll come up with the songs, like the my songs, and then we like develop I developed with him and like yeah he pretty much played everything on it I think uh, I might have played some guitar but the six solos on there that I really like it that's all Lewis he's a, he's a sick guitarist yeah yeah looking back at the songs on the EP is it stuff you've had for a while or is it just stuff you've done with Lewis? This bunch of songs are like, they were all kind of written around the same time, like within a couple of months of each other. And I'd worked on them a little bit at home and then there was like, there was another song that I had as well, which I didn't end up using because we didn't finish it. But um, yeah, they, they were all written around the same time and then I just took them all to Lewis. I specifically picked these like there was there was actually six to start with yeah I, p- I picked them out because like they all kind of they were all kind of connected as like a period of time do you know what I mean like I think it was like a six month period where I think I'd written them and worked on them a little bit at home and like gone back and forth and just decided you know I, there was there was probably more ideas in there somewhere but they were like my favourite ones and probably the most personal ones that like came out of that session so it was like and it, it was actually it was actually a few years ago as well when when we actually started working on them and then in lockdown in lockdown we, we mixed and mastered them and like got them ready for, for like release basically I mean and was it quite a big deal really when you made it I mean you made it public recently on Instagram didn't you was that quite um it's quite a big moment yeah. for you, really. Yeah, definitely because I'm quite an anxious person anyway, and like I've, I want, I've, I'm like dying to put it out, but obviously it needs a process, like of releasing music, and you can't just like put it out there just. And and I, I was going to put them all out at the same time, but I think like yeah, just even making even making like the announcement on my Instagram was like. It was like such a big weight off my shoulders. It, it like felt like a bit of a relief just even just announcing it and getting a little bit of a reaction from like, which I noticed like some old fa- old like fans of the pads were like commenting on stuff like that. So it was like, yeah, it, it definitely felt like a, a bit of a, re- a relief um, to let people know. Yeah, like in terms of influences and stuff, um, did you want to make sure it was? different to the Paddington's or is that kind of just like a natural thing where you know it's 10 years down the line and you're into different stuff now uh, I don't think I like intentionally like tried to drift away from like the, sounding like the past but I think it's just like naturally done it a little bit like I'll never get away from 
because like I was I was to wrote some of the songs in the Palatins and I was the singer, like I, I was the vocal main vocals in it. So it was like I don't think I can ever get fully away from sounding a little bit like myself because it's me. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, it, it wasn't necessarily intentionally, but I did kind of wanna yeah, I want I wanted it to sound different, but I, I honestly had no idea where it was gonna go, but I'm quite happy with where it's gone. Like it sounds a little bit different. It's still it's still guitar based music, but like there's actually there's actually only real drums on like one track on on the EP, which is which when we went in the studio, I actually that was one of the things that I um, kind of wanted to work with differently. It was like I wanted to bring the like like beats into it a little bit, or you know, like just having like programmed drums just to like mix it up a little bit, so it didn't sound too like straight down the line like. Um, what I used to, what I've grown up sounding like kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Was it easier in terms of production with, you know, you've only got you and Lewis, where I guess with the band, you've got like five know, voices, I, so I'm not really... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if it was easier, but it was definitely different because there was only me to really discuss it with myself. Um, you know, if, if if I wasn't into it, then I could move on and try something something else and... Whereas before, I guess, like, working as a band is like somebody might like a certain hook or something and the other person might not. So then, it, it, you know, in that sense, it was just I'm making all the decisions in a way. So, yeah, it was kind of cool, actually. I liked, I liked it like that. Going back to like you're talking about the the drums and stuff, and I don't you know I don't know much about this music, but just from watching the little peep documentary and stuff, would you say there's definitely an influence from that type of music, whatever you call it? Yeah, um, that's what, yeah, that's exactly. I, I like the way that all those guys like try and come back because like, I don't even know what the genre's called. Do you know what I mean? It's it's like a big, it's quite a big mix of like rock music and like rap if you want like and i really like the way that they've all worked and like combined the genres together like um post Malone's and and little peep and you know uh, that tentacion guy he uh their, their, their production that they use as well like, I'm, I'm really into that as well yeah and i guess that links quite well into the fact you know that it's all DIY and stuff. For someone like me, you wouldn't have a clue. Like, you've got these songs now, so what? What do you have to do now to get them out there? Type thing. Well, I'm I'm self releasing. Um, like, I wanted to just do it really for myself, more than anything. Like, like we were saying about um, like having the fear and like a little bit scared of being criticised or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm putting it out there for me and. It's going to go out through Airwall, which is like the distribution company. So, yeah, I guess I just have to do everything on my own now, which I'm not sure how good I am at that yet, but we'll see. <laughs> and how do you set up that relationship with the distribution company? Like, how do you go about that? Actually, Lewis, Lewis, who I've been working with, the producer, he he had a relationship with them anyway. So we we got into talks about it. Uh, th- through because he's he's put his stuff out through them as well and yeah but I basically just had a bit of it, it went through him kind of thing at first and then it was just like seemed like a good way to go because we already had a relationship with them as well and then with Lewis like is he a bit younger than us or you I think I think he's younger than me yeah so is he yeah, a bit more used yeah. to like you know the way things are now with music where you have to be a bit more DIY I, I don't know. He's not that much younger than me. Like I think he's Lewis has been around in bands himself. Anyway, he played guitar for Jamie T uh, in the early days like on, on Jamie's like first couple of albums. I think he was always like around then. And then he he had a band called Turbo Geist as well. So I think he's kind of been through it all, like from the start. 
uh, and yeah, I guess he, he also didn't like he didn't stop doing he didn't really have much of a break I don't think well definitely not as long as I've had because like I obviously haven't released anything for 10 years and like you know I've played shows with the Paddington's since but that's about it um, but I definitely I've definitely gone out the loop a bit and I don't think Lewis has had much of a break like that as I have so he, he definitely he, he understands it a little bit more and it, I think that's why it's um, really nice to have him like it's, it's good to have him there to like um, as like a bit of a partner in this project you know yeah yeah so you don't feel completely by yourself type thing yeah I mean it, it it does feel like I'm it is weird doing like a solo thing but I'm really excited about it and yeah I guess he's I guess it is good to just have him there as like a little bit of a someone to talk to and like bounce ideas off you mentioned like you're gonna release one song at a time is that the plan yeah so the first one's coming out on November 9th and I'm gonna and there's gonna be a video with that as well whether I'm gonna do it on the same day or not I'm not sure yet I might do it a couple of weeks after but yeah uh, I'm planning I'm gonna plan to uh, release a track each track like once a month I think so starting in November and then maybe de- maybe December but I'm not sure about December yet uh, I might skip December out and then move into next year but um, yeah I'm just gonna just gonna like I think it needs a bit of consistency so put a track out each month and then I've already started working on like the next batch of songs as well which I quite want to do an album so probably do like 10 song album next time like yeah I've just started working on that already so you know just keep it flowing I think next year and then once the EP is fully out like once every once every song's out and the whole EP is like launched as an EP that's when I want to start maybe thinking thinking about doing shows as well I want to do like the launch day and uh well, that's if we're allowed, obviously, but when we're allowed to, like, socialise again. But yeah, I want to do, like, a launch party, like, maybe February, March or something next year. And what would be the plan? Have you got an idea of how you play the songs live? Like, obviously, they're quite varied. Um, yeah. Um, would Lewis play live with you? Lewis would play live with me, yeah. And I have, I have other ideas of people who who are going to play live with me as well but um, they're not like they're not set in stone yet so I don't I don't really want to say too much in case like you know I don't know what's going to happen but yeah I'll I'll definitely put a band together at some point in, in the new year and then start start rehearsing and like also just um, start making making like a new album as well like a, a theme to the album really because like you go from that first song and I don't know how much you want me to reveal but <laughs> mm. yeah 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 you can but yeah that first song Honey My Brain just fell out I mean that's like oh yeah so so the so the track listing is actually not that all oh, right so the track so the track listing is gonna be um Little Fucker then Honey My Brain fell out then Bad News and then Kept It To Myself oh, okay but yeah, I mean Obviously, the style of the song is quite different. Like, "Honey in My Brain" just fell out. It's very like Pixies, where yeah, yeah, little but, fuckers yeah. like more like we were talking about, like the little peep type genre. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think I think I'm. Yeah, I've kind of covered quite a lot of. I've, I've covered quite a, quite a lot with with each song because they are all quite different, but somehow they for me they they sound like really good as a collective as well like you can kind of tell that they were written like all around the same period you know but yeah the, it, it's definitely all they're all like kind of connected and the, the thing with the videos that we're, we're doing as well um all the videos are going to be connected as well so 
it all tells one story right through the video and, and it features like all the same kind of scene. Yeah, so we were going to make three videos and then like kept it to myself. It's going to be like a bit of a bonus track. Like that's going to be like the last one that we bring out. We'll probably have a different video to that. But yeah, the um, the videos for Little Fucker, Honey, My Brain Fell Out and Bad News are all kind of tell a story right the way through the three songs. And is that almost like a different project with the videos? Like, is that something you've been doing with Ben, is it? Yeah, yeah. So I guess so, yeah. That's kind of turned into a project itself, yeah. And like I've written, me and Ben have sat down and written like the story behind that as well. I guess it's kind of linked to the songs. It's kind of, the songs do tell one story and the video is probably going to tell a different one, but they're connected as well at the same time. Is it all going to be digital release? Like, you're going to see how it goes before you do anything physical? I, I was actually thinking about this uh, yesterday. I'd quite like to do it like a, a limited press on, on vinyl, but I need to sort that out if I'm going to do it, I guess. <laughs> but um, I think what I'd quite like is maybe do a limited press of the EP, so like all the songs together on, on, on one vinyl rather than like each song as a single. So yeah, I might I might think about that. I've got quite a while to till it's like out as a full thing, but mm. yeah, but it's all going to be like Spotify, iTunes, yeah, on the streaming platforms, obviously. And then I'd like to do. Um... Sorry, can you hear them kids screaming in the street? <laughs> Only a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do a, a limited press of vinyl, definitely. Let's get looks packaging and stuff. <laughs> 